Hello and welcome to another product video breakdown from Longhorn Tactical. Today we will be looking at the Phoenix HP 30R V2.0, the latest USB-C rechargeable double function triple LED headlamp from Phoenix with a battery pack power bank combo capable of a max brightness of 3000 lumen that can yield up to 295 yards of beam distance. Hey y'all, take this time to like and subscribe to the Longhorn Tactical YouTube channel. Thanks! The HP 30R V2.0 comes with everything you see here. The headlamp assembly. The headband with the vertical support band, which is completely removable if you just wanted the circular part. The battery pack. The steel battery pack belt clip. Inside. Two ARB L21 5000 button top lithium ion batteries. Four headband helmet clips. A USB C to A charging cable. And the headband power extension cable. The HP 30R V2.0 measures 3.62 inches across at its widest point. It is 2.2 inches tall and 1.73 inches deep from LED to the forehead plate. The headlamp with the battery pack together weighs 17.2 ounces with the two 5000 milliamp batteries inside. And should you wear the battery pack separately, just the headlamp assembly then weighs 7.6 ounces. The HP 30R V2.0 is marketed as a heavy-duty industrial headlamp for construction, mining, or people who want a really bright headlamp with a dual spotlight floodlight capability. The HP 30R V2.0 comes with three LEDs, a primary Cree XHP50 LED with a large, slightly textured reflector for the primary spotlight, which produces a definite hotspot with spill and then two Cree XPG3S4 neutral LEDs with textured diffusers for the floodlight. These produce a seemingly warm floodlight at a much larger angle as compared to the spotlight. Here is the operation guide of the HP 30R V2.0. The HP 30R V2.0 has one of the best operation mechanisms in my personal opinion. It is incredibly simple and intuitive. While wearing the headlamp, imagine this is oriented forward, Twisting this side knob forward activates the spotlight. There are four levels of spotlight. For each turn, there is a definite tactile click. And furthermore, the wheel stops when you reach the final brightness and it does not turn any further, letting you know you are on the final brightness level. Inversely, twisting the side wheel rearward, you will go down in brightness levels until the spotlight on the headlamp deactivates. From here, continue twisting rearwards, and the floodlight, two LEDs, will activate until you reach the maximum floodlight brightness. There are three floodlight levels, and once again, the wheel will stop, letting you know you are on the max. Now, at any given point in time, when you turn on either the spotlight or the floodlights, you can push the button that is in the center of the turning wheel. This will activate the other light. So, say I'm on low flood. If I push the button, the spot will also activate in low. And then, continuing backwards, you'll see that both go up for each turn. Conversely, say I turn on low spot and then push the button. Then the floodlights will also activate on low. And for each turn, you'll see that both go up in brightness. Although of course, because the floodlights only have three brightnesses, whereas the spotlight has four, if you watch closely, on low spot, the flood turns on low, then both medium, then both high, but the floodlight is already at max, so it will stay the same, whereas the spotlight will go up one more to turbo. Here are the brightness settings of the HP 30R V2.0. Spotlight low at 50 lumen. Spotlight mid at 200 lumen. Spotlight high at 800 lumen. And spotlight turbo at 2000 lumen. Floodlight low at 50 lumen. Floodlight mid at 200 lumen. 
and floodlight high at 1000 lumen. When combined, dual light turbo at 3000 lumen. The HP 30RV 2.0 comes with this battery pack, which can hold two Phoenix Button Top 21700 batteries. First, let's disconnect it from the headlamp assembly. You can push up on this clip right here, and it should pop right open. The HP 30RV 2.0 comes with two 5000 milliamp batteries included. But if you were to have extra Phoenix button top batteries, the ability to swap out batteries can allow for continuous usage. These batteries can then be charged inside the battery pack via this USB-C port on top, behind this protector sleeve. The quad LED battery level indicator will begin blinking, letting you know the batteries inside are currently charging. When the battery pack has not been in use for a while, Tap the button once on top, and the battery level indicator will light up showing you how much battery life is left. Furthermore, the battery pack can be continuously charged via the USB-C port while the headlamp is in use. First, let's connect it to the headlamp. Turn on the headlamp. Connect the USB-C charging cable. And thus, you can see that it is still being charged while the headlamp and all of its functions are still able to be used. And of course, the key feature of this battery pack is its ability to be a separate power bank. When you remove the protective cover, inside the USB-A port on the battery pack dispenses power, whereas the USB-C port is for ingesting power. So remember, for C port, energy goes in, A port, energy comes out. Those are the only two ways. Thus, when you plug the USB-A port side and connect this to any electronic device, for instance, my phone, in order for the battery pack to then begin dispensing power, you need to tap this power button once. And of course, while it is being charged by a separate USB-C cable in the C port and dispensing power, the headlamp is still functional. So the batteries inside can be charged while it is charging a different device and the headlamp is being used at the same time, allowing for continuous usage. Now, the battery power pack can be mounted to the rear plate of the headband assembly. On the rear of the battery pack, the side with the hinge of the lid, you will find this empty groove. Align the groove with the notch of the rear plate of the headband assembly. And when you slide this piece in until you hear the click, the battery pack will then be secured to the headband assembly. Then make sure to connect the battery pack's power cable to the headlamp's power cable. Once configured, this complete headlamp assembly of the HP 30RV 2.0 is surprisingly not as burdensome as one would imagine because the battery pack acts as a nice counterweight to the LED assembly in front. Now here is an important tip. In order to detach the battery pack from the rear plate, first disconnect the power cable, and then lift up the headband from the rear plate. Push down on this small square part that is sticking out, and then the battery pack slides out. This actually took me a little bit to figure out because the headband covers the part you need to push down on the rear plate. Finally, the HP 30R V2.0 comes with this power extension cable and this steel body clip for the power pack. So first, slide the clip into the pack like so. And this allows you to wear the power clip or the power pack, I mean. Use the extension cable and connect it to the power pack. Then, this can then be connected to the headlamp assembly. This gives you up to three extra feet, allowing you to wear the battery pack separately from the headlamp assembly. For instance, on a belt or maybe strapped to a backpack strap. And then can you twist it to show 
that it works. No? Like all of Phoenix's headlamps, the HP 30R V2.0's headband is lightweight, perforated, incredibly elastic and breathable. And in the front, on the inside, you will find the wide silicone strip that helps grip your head, as well as diverting moisture away from your eyes. Moreover, the Phoenix logo and the three stripes here are incredibly reflective, providing enhanced visibility in low light. The HP 30R V2.0 also comes with four of these helmet clips, which attach to hard hats like so. And then the headband can be threaded through this portion, securing it to the helmet. Finally, the all-metal body of the HP 30R V2.0 is impact resistant up to 2 meters and is rated IP66 water resistant. That concludes the product breakdown video of the Phoenix HP 30R V2.0, a dual spotlight floodlight headlamp capable of 3000 lumen max, with a separate battery pack that holds two removable 5000 milliamp 21700 batteries and can double as a power bank. The HP 30R V2.0 is available at longhorntactical.com. If you have enjoyed this video, or think I am a big dumb fart, please leave a comment or suggestion below. To stay up to date on future product releases from brands such as Olight, Nikkor, Phoenix, and more, sales announcements, and all things flashlight related, please consider subscribing to the Longhorn Tactical YouTube channel. And thank you.